Hello, I'm Irma Salmo Carlos, and I'm one of your instructors for this course. Um, this video is with the purpose of demonstrating how to administer transdermal medications, how to apply or instill eye drops, um, how to apply an optic ointment, and also how to administer inhaled medications. And um, I would like to just touch base real quick on the uh, patient well, or medication rights. So we need to make sure that with each of the medications that we administer, we check uh, all of our rights. That includes having the right patient, having the right uh, drug, having the right uh, dose at the right time, as well as the right route. And Two more that I would like to add is to have the right patient education and the right documentation. Um, before we also proceed to give any medication, we need to make sure that we do our three checks. That when we pull the medication, we're gonna check it against the MAR. We're gonna make sure that we have um, the correct medication for the correct patient as well as all of the rights that we just mentioned. Uh, the second check is when we are preparing our medication before we give it. We're gonna prepare it, we need to make sure we have the correct medication as well for the correct patient. And before we give it, we're gonna do our third check again. Okay, so that's gonna help us to practice safe and it's gonna benefit our patient, okay? So um, we're ready to start. The first one we're gonna do is transdermal. And for this one, we, we have two options. The first one is when the patient has no patch at all. And uh, we're going to apply our patch for the first time. For that one, we need to make sure that the area where we're applying our transdermal um, patch is clean. There is no oils, there is no hair. If there is hair, do not shave the area. We need to clip it. Okay, and we also need to make sure um, that we check the integrity of the skin, that there is no rashes, there is no redness, there is no swelling, there is no pain. So just make sure you assess your area. Some of the options that we have is uh, the upper chest, the right and the left, we have the upper arms and the back, the upper um, back. So if we have a patient that does have a patch already, then we need to remove that one before we apply the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna do that example. So this is our patient for today. Well, this is our patient, um, not the baby. Though. Okay, so this is our patient for today, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use this pad. And I've done all of my checks and I've done all of my rights. So I'm gonna do my hand hygiene Right. I'm gonna put on my gloves. It is essential, not only important, it is essential that you wear gloves when you're handling any topical medications, either ointments, liquid, or patches. Okay, if you touch a nitro patch with no gloves, guess what? You're probably gonna be found on the floor pretty quick uh, because that's a vasodilator. So it's gonna probably make you faint. So before I remove anything, I'm gonna explain to the patient what I'm gonna do. Um, this, is, um, this patient has received this medication, right? Because he already has the same patch. And anyways, I'm still gonna ask the same question. So you have any allergies? How do you feel with the patch? What is your pain level? Let's say this is a narcotic. We need to make sure we assess the pain level, okay? So um, before I remove it, I'm gonna tell the patient that they might feel a little bit of discomfort and I'm gonna be very gentle. So I'm gonna proceed to um, assess my area, which I had already done and I'm going to proceed to remove the patch very gently, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, this is the side that has the medication. I'm gonna fold it. And I'm gonna make sure that I fold it inside so the medication stays in 
um, in the patch. If this is an narcotic, I'm gonna make sure that I have a second nurse witness the disposal of this uh, patch. And why is that? It's because there is still some medication left, okay? And that is also the same reason why we actually um, remove that patch before we apply the other one. If we leave that one on and we apply the new patch in a new site, guess what's gonna happen? This medication is gonna be receiving medication from both sides. So I have removed, I have removed the, the patch and now I'm gonna use some uh, warm water to clean the area, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that I remove any excess of medication that the patch left and now i'm going to move on to the application of the new one to apply the new patch um, we're going to make sure again that the area is clean that we assess for skin integrity for pain redness rashes anything we're going to use a different area than the other patch so um, i'm going to check this, the integrity of my medication i have checked this medication against my um, medication administration record. I've made sure that I have the correct patient. I used at least two identifiers for my patient. I checked for allergies and I checked my um, level of pain if this was a narcotic and I'm also um, going to check for my vital signs in case this is a, a nitro patch. I'm ready to apply my patch. Um, I'm going to open it and before I put it on I need to make sure that I, with the date, the time, and my initials. And I'm also going to make sure that when I document that along with all of my documentation, I document the site that I chose. So the previous patch was on the um on the left upper chest and this one is gonna go on the right so i'll just make sure that i do that so in order to apply it what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna touch the medication at all remember this side is the one that's gonna go out and this side is the one that's gonna uh, touch the skin the actual like the one that's gonna dispense the medication so what I'm gonna do there is two flaps so I'm just gonna kind of like gently pull I'm not gonna open at all like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like a butterfly I'm gonna use that to stick it to the skin and then without touching the side of the medication I'm just going to apply it. I do not massage i'm not gonna rub it i just need to make sure it's in place and it is okay because if i rub it or i massage i'm going to uh, dispense more medication than what we're intended to so i um before i leave the room again i'm gonna make um, my environment uh, check and i'm gonna make sure my patient is safe so i'm gonna leave the bed to the lowest position side uh, rails up all well within reach and I'm gonna make sure that before I leave my patient is uh, um, clear on what I just did and if they have any questions at this point I'm gonna make sure that I will address that I'm also gonna make sure that my patient knows um, to call me if they need anything